Hey guys, James here. Today I'm down in the office slash man cave. What I'm trying to do is actually set up a better lighting system and a bit of a backdrop. I'm gonna start, as some, some of you guys know, doing some recordings and doing some training videos. Now to do that, I just wanna get the quality a lot better. So I've bought this little uh, lighting studio off uh, eBay. We're gonna see how it goes. I've got one stand set up over there. I'll put another one here. And then the aim is to put a bit of a backdrop down behind here, just to cover up all this crap that we got stored down here, the surfboards, the beds, you know, all the racks and everything else. So I can actually film myself sitting here at the desk, you know, working through some screen flow or some training programs and stuff like that. So let's see how it goes. All right, then these are the two backdrops that they give you, the black one and the white one. Oh, for starters, it's not wide enough. I guess if I zoom the camera in a little bit, I'll be able to just have it focused on the backdrop itself. But it's still a bit see-through. I might, um, let's see if I can get something a bit thicker, thicker cloth. Okay, that could be the backdrop. Let's see what it's like when I zoom it in. All right, well, I guess that works. Acts as a bit of a backdrop, but I think I need to iron it. And to be honest, it's not the best quality material. I think I'll go for more of a, a uh, canvas or something like that. This is quite cheap, but I really wanted the frame. So uh, I'll buy some more material and we'll see how it goes. Next thing now is to set up the uh, light box. So I've got a little bit of a light box studio. Um, and again, bought that off eBay, so I don't know what the quality is going to be like, but I'll give it a go. See what that looks like. All right, now I'll test this out. Hey. Pretty cool. Very nice. So now I set up two of those, one each side, and the boom over the top. We've got some good lighting. Yeah, so we've got all the soft boxes and lights built now. Tested them, they seem to work okay, so now it's just a matter of putting them into position and getting the backdrop set up properly, and hopefully I've got a pretty good setup, so we'll see. Okay, so here's my lighting setup. First of all, here's the bar that the uh, backdrop's gonna hang on. Like I said, I've gotta get a better backdrop for that. I've got the uh, overhead lamp, but they're set up on the stand over there, and I've got the two lights at the back. So what I'll do now is turn everything off and just set up this lighting, and we'll see what it looks like see the difference between the fluorescent lights that I've currently got and then having this proper lighting kit set up. All right, so there you have it. Low box is all set up. I've got the two in front of me. I've got the one overhead just out of camera reach. And I've got the crappy uh, backdrop behind me. Now, it worked out pretty good getting the backdrop off eBay because I got the frame and that's mainly the thing I wanted. The screen itself is pretty creased and pretty crinkled and it's, yeah, the best quality so I'll probably look at getting something else but as far as putting these lights together a big thank you to uh, Brian Greco he's the guy that I actually looked up on YouTube and he done a pretty detailed um, video on how to put these things together because I had no idea and they don't come with instructions but look for 120 bucks off eBay I think that's pretty good value so anyway there you go guys you got to see me uh, setting it all up and putting in action and hopefully the the lighting's okay now I'm still going to work on different camera angles and different lighting and everything else. I mean, there's so many videos on YouTube that you can look up on how to set up different lights and what light to have on brighter and what light to have behind you and everything else. But I think for what I'm doing, it's gonna be enough. So thanks guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like or subscribe or give it a thumbs up. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.